This is Johnny Henson, Professor Poole, with Bill University out of Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a player that most of you have all heard of, and that's Earl Strickland. Earl Strickland, in my opinion, is one of the greatest natural pool players that I've ever seen. Uh, he uh, came onto the scene. He was uh, very um, flamboyant. Um, he was a field player. Uh, probably one of the greatest field players I've ever seen. Um, he just had a flair about him, and and uh, when he would uh, go around the table, um, he didn't see a shot that he couldn't make. And uh, some of the shots that I seen him make in tournament play over the years uh, were uh, phenomenal. I mean, uh, they're like a highlight reel. And uh, most people would not even be gutsy enough to even try that shot, much less make it. And not only make it, but leave yourself perfect uh, for uh, getting on the next ball and getting out. And so uh, I think that he, uh, he's, he's uh, uh, I know that he's had his issues as far as, uh, you know, his personality. You know, he's very competitive. He's very compassionate toward the sport of pool. Uh, he wants everybody to have his level of compassion for the sport. And sometimes when, you know, they don't, other players don't quite act the way he thinks they should, then he gets really upset. And then that's what um, causes a lot of the issue he's had over the years. But for that, I think that he it, himself is one of the greatest players of all time. He's a five-time uh, uh, U.S. Nine Ball Open champion, along with numerous, numerous other titles. I think he holds over 100 titles to his credit which is uh, amazing. Um, I think he was the first person to, I think he ran 10 in a row in nine ball and won a million dollars. Uh, there was a million dollar challenge if you could run 10 in a row uh, in a match and he did that. Just things like that he's done in his career, they're phenomenal. Um, the thing I would like for all of you people out there to learn from Earl Strickland is that Earl Strickland, uh, he's a field player and sometimes when your back up is up against the wall and you got to come through with a really, really, really great shot that's not really the highest percentage, sometimes you got to be brave enough to shoot that. And uh, Earl Strickland over the years has been one of the most gutsy players that I've ever witnessed in my lifetime. Uh, one thing that I do teach in my three-day seminar is a speed control system that was actually developed by a professional pool instructor for Earl Strickland to help him with speed control. And uh, we've been teaching that system in, well, I've been teaching that system for 13 years. And it's a phenomenal system. Uh, I guess if it's good enough for Earl Strickland, it's good enough for you. And so uh, that's just one of the, the things that I, um, I have learned from uh, Earl Strickland or I've uh, tried to teach students that, uh, that he does. And so uh, what I would like uh, for every one of you to do is watch some uh, video of Earl Strickland, especially some of the amazing shots he shot over the years and realize that sometimes when your back's up against the wall, uh, you don't have to shoot the shot twice. All you gotta do is make it one time. And that one time, if that wins you a game or wins you a match, is, is, is worth. I, I always tell people I'd a lot rather uh, go down kicking than, than trying to, if there's no good safety out there, then, uh, then you might as well just go for that hard shot. And if you're lucky enough to make it, then you just keep going. And I've done that hundreds of times in my, in my career. And uh, I always tell, tell my opponent, uh, yeah, it was a great shot, but don't ask me to do it twice. <laughs> and so anyway, I hope this uh, uh, watching Earl Strickland on film uh, will help you with your game and help you uh, get out a few of those tight spots. And so good luck to you and good shooting.